Greetings and salutations from sunny southern Minnesota. Dr. Dry and Molly here with you today to unveil the secrets of water vapor in air. Today's subject is vapor pressure. Hey, Molly, come forward to the camera so they can see you. You're pretty small, you know. 2.6 angstroms. Hello, everyone. I bet you didn't know that I and my fellow water molecules are in every breath you take. Good to meet you, finally. Thanks, Molly. Now jump into this test tube here with your fellow water molecules, and let's discuss vapor pressure. Vapor pressure, that is the partial pressure, or that part of the total pressure of the water vapor in air. Vapor pressure is one of the absolute measurements of moisture in air, meaning it doesn't change with the temperature of the air, say like relative humidity does. So if we have air at 70 degrees and 50% relative humidity, meaning the air is 50% full of the moisture that it can hold, and if we keep cooling that air all the way down to just the place before dew point, where the dew falls out, in our example today that is 50 and one half degrees Fahrenheit. We are now at 100% relative humidity. The air cannot hold any more water. Keep cooling the air and... Time to change state. It's condensation time. Let's go back before we lost Molly. And go the other way. And increase the temperature to 95 degrees. Let's draw a line across the top of these three points which we've identified, each with the same amount of absolute moisture. The actual amount of water is equal in all three cases. In our subject today, moisture in air measured as vapor pressure. Vapor pressure is a measurement of the partial pressure or that part of the pressure of the moisture in the air. It is an absolute measurement moisture, meaning it does not change with a temperature increase or decrease unless, of course, you get to the point of condensation. Vapor pressure is a very strong force. It is the motive of force. It moves moisture throughout the conditioned space. It pushes moisture through walls, unless there's a vapor barrier. Molly, put the pressure on. Tell us, why do we need to know vapor pressure? Come with me, and I will show you how water vapor can move against an airstream or an area with a higher vapor pressure to an area of lower vapor pressure. Permeation is the penetration of the permeate, in this case, water vapor, me, through a solid. It is directly related to the concentration gradient, or the pressure of the permeate, and the material's intrinsic permeability. Hey, Molly, where are you headed? There's too much pressure out there, Dr. Dry. I want equal pressure! All right, Molly, off you go. Goodbye, your dryness. I'm off to take a ride on the CDI desiccant rotor. For those of you still watching, let's summarize. Vapor pressure. It is the partial pressure, that part of the pressure of just the moisture vapor in air. Pressure always goes from high to low. Vapor pressure differences in outdoor air, conditioned spaces, and dry spaces are considerable and need to be understood. It's also very important to understand vapor pressure to explain how desiccants work, as well as determining moisture loads, both coming soon on a webinar near you. Until then, this is Dr. Dry.